Hi there, welcome back to another Crypto Day video. It's Friday, which means another crypto interest rates and news update. Today is the 14th of May, 2021. And as always, we start by taking a look at um, interest rate changes, any new coins or anything like that. And we've actually had a couple of new coins this week. So Crypto.com literally just announced today that they would be uh, listing uh, Dogecoin and uh, Shiba Inu in uh, their Crypto.com earner feature. Now, I don't have the exact rates. We'll be talking about those in a minute. But once I have the uh, the breakdown by the kind of um, the lockup terms and stuff like that, I'll uh, update this table to reflect it. And um, also added Swissborg here. Now, I'm updating these uh, rates uh, with the latest rates. So if you go to the uh, Swissborg website, um, although they give you those kind of like headline rates, which we talked about kind of previously, uh, they also give you the daily rate the, the previous daily rate and that's updated every day so uh, these are the rates um, as of the last updated uh, date uh, here in the top left of the spreadsheet so um, uh, moving on to the token uh, prices Obviously, it's been a bit of a, a pullback the last few days, all this uh, controversy with Elon Musk and his uh, tweeting that uh, Tesla would no longer be um, accepting Bitcoin as payment because um, of their concerns over uh, the energy usage and potentially um, the usage of kind of coal, particularly over in kind of China, uh, in a Mongolian places like that uh, for Bitcoin kind of mining. Um, and on the back of that, we had a really big kind of like a shakeout of the kind of market. So uh, Bitcoin down 11%, just to put everything else in context. Uh, Crypto.com down 12%, so pretty much in line. Uh, Celsius Network up 13%. So uh, realistically, um, over a 20% gain against kind of Bitcoin. So a really good uh, gain there. Uh, Nexo up 4.4%, so a solid week for Nexo as well. And then Swissborg down 9%. So uh, similar to uh, kind of Bitcoin, if you look at the actual uh, charts, probably um, tracks uh, Bitcoin most closely out of kind of all of these. But um, after um, you know, a bit of a nightmare a couple of weeks ago for uh, Celsius had some uh, strong kind of um, a gain since then. Nice to see for uh, Celsius holders and those of you who are getting paid out in uh, sell token. Swissborg's been on a bit of a slide as well over the last um, kind of month or so. So nice to see just in the last kind of day or so a little bit of a, a spike back up, but still owed down at 9% over the last week. Uh, outperforming Bitcoin slightly, but not a, a fantastic week for that. And um, I really want to talk a little bit more detail about Swissborg. So um, they just uh, released, um, actually it was like last week, I uh, didn't have a chance to talk through this um, in last week's kind of video, but uh, their Smart Yield report, so they emailed out that it had been uh, published uh, in the last week. So this is a really interesting uh, piece. I won't go through it um, entirely uh, here because it's quite a long kind of bit, but uh, if you are interested in uh, Swissborg, are you interested in um, how these com companies um, or how you indeed yourself can um, utilize the kind of DeFi landscape, um, looking at yields and stuff like that, it's a really interesting kind of piece and they do this on a monthly basis. Now, um, currently they're talking about USDC and Ethereum. Obviously, Bitcoin uh, yield on uh, Swissborg was only uh, launched about a week ago, just over a week ago, I think it was eight days ago. Uh, so not a lot of information about that. And they've got um, Binance Coin and uh, DAI in progress as well. So hopefully they'll be added in the uh, subsequent months. But um, interesting stuff about the DeFi landscape in general. Well worth a read this. And then uh, it breaks it down basically by um, by coin or token. So they talk about their Ethereum smart yield. And you can see here this green line being the average since it's kind of gone live. And you can see how the APY has fallen away. Uh, the earnings rate has fallen away during that kind of time. Um, and if we move just down briefly to the USDC, you can see here uh, the green line uh, through the middle. So we've had some dips below it uh, previously. We've also had some uh, nice spikes back up. Uh, bit of another dip recently as well, but coming back towards that kind of um, that average um, and a lot more stable the uh, USDC uh, yields compared to kind of Ethereum, which does seem to be uh, on the slide. But uh, I'll let you uh, read through this um, in your own time. It's got information about the kind of programs they're investing in and stuff like that. Uh, well worth a read if you're interested in uh, the platform or just DeFi in general. And as always, uh, a link to this and a link to everything else that I talk about will be in the description below. And then um, something I mentioned last week, but I really wanted to uh, make people aware of this. This is um, a site, it's called Yieldborg. So it's yield-borg.vercel.app. Uh, again, it'll be linked below. Uh, but basically, they've been keeping track of the um, the rates on Swissborg for all of the um, coins that they offer yield on uh, since 
since they started kind of offering that. So you got um, here in the kind of like um, is it kind of like a dark blue purple uh, USDC. So you can see the kind of rates on a daily basis how they're varied. Uh, and then in the lighter blue here, you can see this Ethereum line, which is a uh, you know really kind of like swung down quite um, substantially. And then we've got uh, Swissborg's own token. Uh, again, that was declining a little bit until they had that uh, change and they kind of basically uh, increased the kind of like uh, the staking up to kind of 10%. And then just this little orange one here, which just uh, runs out of the last uh, seven or eight days, uh, that's Bitcoin. So um, as we mentioned in last week's uh, video, it started um, at 9%. That was the only day it's actually hit 9% since uh, they've launched it. Um, over the last week, it's it's kind of hovered mainly around kind of that 8% uh, that 8% mark. And don't forget that 8% is for um, premium users. So if you're a standard user, and it's always good to compare uh, like to like, uh, you're looking at kind of around that kind of 4% mark, basically. So be interesting to see whether they can hold uh, around that 4% or not. Um, if you look here at uh, the Ethereum, you know, for uh, a standard kind of user, you know, started back, back up near 9% has now dropped uh, to under uh, three or just under four, so about three and a half on average. So I would um, quite imagine that Bitcoin is actually going to drop a little bit below Ethereum. It looks like the Ethereum rate has kind of like steadied somewhat. So. Um, potentially not a huge amount of data to go on but um potentially um around that three and a half percent might be what we kind of like sort of like bottom in uh, out at so um not a fantastic yield if we jump back to the uh, spreadsheet you can see if we highlight ethereum here uh, four and a half percent for the first only first 15 now on BlockFi. um not great on crypto.com but celsius offering uh, just over five percent uh even nexo their base rate four percent compared to um you know, an average kind of rate over the last kind of week or two of uh, just over three and a half for Swissbook. So uh, potentially there are better options uh, out there for Ethereum. It'd be interesting. Let me just jump back to that. Uh, what happens to the Bitcoin if they can hold at um, around that kind of four percent? That's um, you know relatively competitive, particularly if you've got a number of coins. Uh, if they drop below that, um, we're starting to see you know maybe not a lot of people kind of moving in. I haven't actually deposited any Bitcoin. Uh, on their kind of platform. I have a handful of Ethereum just to kind of test it out, but I haven't deposited any Bitcoin. I'm uh, waiting to see really, really once we've got two to four weeks worth of kind of data, uh, whether it's worth kind of like um, moving stuff over or not. But uh, uh, worth bookmarking this site. They also have the links to the uh, Smart Yield reports we just kind of mentioned here. Um, and various announcements and stuff like that. So a really good site here, uh, well worth bookmarking if you use uh, Swissborg. And then on to a few other stories. We've got Crypto.com here. Uh, they've become the official uh, sponsor of the Ice Hockey World Championships for uh, this year and next year. So this year it's in Riga in Latvia and then it will be in Finland uh, next year. So I've been doing a lot, of, quite a lot of um, sponsorships. They were sponsoring something in the NFL, I believe. Um, uh, which I mentioned maybe a couple of months ago. I didn't recall that. Um, obviously, they're sponsoring, um, or they are a sponsor on the Aston Martin uh, Formula One team as well. So, be doing quite a lot of these sponsorships. I think any kind of um, uh, publicity and. <clears throat> Um, yeah, sort of publicity for kind of cryptocurrencies uh, as well as crypto.com in general. They've been doing some nice kind of billboards and stuff like that. Um, the whole plan B kind of billboards, which I think uh, have worked pretty well. But uh, interested to see uh, they're carrying on this um, sort of trend of sponsoring some sporting kind of events. So it's obviously um, proving to be uh, beneficial uh, for them. But uh, you can read about that in their press release here. And also on uh, crypto.com, as we mentioned at the beginning, um, they have now uh, launched Dogecoin and Shiba Inu um, deposits on their earn. So um, you can deposit and earn up to 5% on Doge and Shiba. Now, um, users, uh, regular users can earn up to 3% and it's the crypto.com private users that can earn up to 5%. So not great um, interest rates at the moment. Um, it looks like, you know, as much as anything, this may be a little bit of a kind of a publicity kind of a stump because of obviously all the kind of like meme coins and uh, particularly the kind of dog based kind of meme coins going a bit crazy at the moment. So uh, I think kind of cashing in on that. Um, the rates look to be low. I imagine that 3% might be on a three month um, stake or something like that. As I said, as soon as um, I get those kind of like additional uh, figures, I will update the spreadsheet uh, with them. But uh, it could well be down at something like kind of 1%, which for them is uh, probably a decent 
um, marketing kind of strategy. They're not really kind of paying a huge amount out and um, getting sort of free publicity and hopefully more people into the platform uh, on the back of it. But interesting to see uh, they've been so quick to jump on uh, these kind of kind of trends. Obviously, um, the Elon Musk kind of Doge stuff has been going on for quite a while, but uh, she really, you know, just having a massive pump over the last week or so, uh, a pure kind of meme coin. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what this kind of happens, whether they're quietly kind of like retired out of the platform in a few months if they don't perform or something like that. And then a finally, and this story actually uh, popped up on BlockFi. If you use BlockFi, um, obviously uh, they are producing, if you're in the US, they produce, and we talked about this in the past, um, some um, information um, basically. So it's a, a 1099B and there's a miscellaneous income form. It's a 1099 MISC uh, form. So they will uh, provide those uh, for you, I believe, if you have done over a certain amount uh, so if you've earned more than $600 of interest and bonuses, you'll get the 1099 MISC form in your account. Uh, but really, um, not just from a BlockFi point of view, but um, from all these kind of platforms, just really wanted to kind of um, uh, remind people to you know make sure you are uh, keeping track of stuff for tax purposes, make sure that you are um, you know adhering to the local kind of like tax rules in your kind of country wherever you are uh, the rules are not the same all over the kind of world some places are a lot more lenient uh, than others um mainly um us related they always seem to be giving us stuff but um similar type of kind of um uh, pla um a similar type of tax system in the kind of UK and a lot of European countries. So um, make sure, just really um, a sort of like a warning um, or sort of like a word of advice that, you know, make sure you think about this, make sure you are keeping track of everything, um, maybe kind of downloading all your kind of um, interest kind of payments and anything kind of like that into a spreadsheet. Um, you never know when something might happen to kind of a platform, you can't get all the access to the information uh, that you kind of want. So make sure you're um, keeping a track of everything that you're earning, uh, crypto that you're kind of putting in, taking out, and obviously if you're doing any kind of kind of crypto to crypto uh, conversions within um, a platform like kind of BlockFi, you know they are taxable events in the vast majority of places. So you need to be keeping a track of those, uh, making sure that you're uh, submitting those to the local tax authorities so they don't come after you at some uh, later date. So really, just um, a sort of word of warning: make sure you're uh, uh, keeping up with your kind of like uh, tax like kind of abilities uh, wherever you are. So that's it for uh, this week. Thanks very much for watching. Um, as always, hopefully you're all keeping uh, safe and well. Let me know um, if. If you have any questions, suggestions, anything like that in the comments below. Hopefully I'll see you on the next video, but until then, have a great day. Bye-bye.